What's going on everyone? Welcome to my easy dog tag guide for the plant chapter of Metal Gear Solid 2. If you're new here and you haven't yet done your very easy dog tag runs, make sure you check out the guides linked in the description box below. I also have a guide for the tanker on easy, how to get 100% dog tags on that as well. Otherwise, let's get into it. Now easy is going to be pretty close, pretty similar to very easy. I believe this is the last difficulty where we get the advantage of having the M9 right from the beginning of the game. So enjoy it while it lasts. It's actually in a different spot though from very easy. It's located over here. Flip over that railing with the action button. Then flip over this railing and the M9 is going to be tucked in this little corner here. Once you've picked it up, go back out the same way you came in. Flip over this railing and then over this one. Another thing I do want to mention is a few of you pointed out an editing mistake in my very easy guide for the plant chapter. And that was in relation to the moving day trophy. I believe it was box number two that I didn't end up showing because of an editing mistake. So thank you to you guys who pointed that out. To make up for it, I'm going to show you how to get all the boxes in this guide. And you should also be seeing a YouTube short popping up on your screen where you can see the location of every single box in MGS2 if you're still going for that moving day trophy. Otherwise, again, thank you to those of you who pointed out that editing mistake that it was 100% on me for sure. Either way, let's jump over these two first guys and then activate the node. This beginning portion is going to be exactly the same as very easy with the only major difference being the guards that are unconscious on the ground wake up much quicker than they do on very easy. So you have to be kind of quick here in how you hold the first guy up and take his dog tag. You have to do it very quickly. If you can try to swat at this guy's stars over his head to get him to wake up sooner kind of weird to get that angle but if you can do it make sure you do it otherwise i honestly think the best thing you could do here is hold this first guy up Freeze. and then shake him down for his dog tag and then tranquilize him but don't pick up his dog tag just tranquilize him and then run behind this second guy because as you can see they they're pretty much synchronized in how they get up just don't forget to pick up the dog tag after so pick that dog tag up and then the second one or the first one i should say once you've gotten those two dog tags, just wait for the lift to come down and then make your way forward to proceed to the rest of the plant chapter. Now, obviously, there's, I believe, at least a couple more dog tags on easy when compared to very easy. And there's also small differences in our route that we have to take. And I'll be showing you that and pointing them out once we get there. Otherwise, the beginning is the same. Make sure you crawl through that little crawl space. Skip this code call and then make your way into the strut A pump room. That same first guard is going to be located in the same area, patrolling around the same area in the strut A pump room. As I told you all in the first guide for very easy, you can skip him and do him later, like get his tag later. But I always forget if I do that, so I just like to do him first here. Like initially. And then once you have his tag, you can make your way this way to the AB connecting bridge. The AB connecting bridge is going to be exactly the same as on very easy. You're going to have a codec call to skip. And then there's going to be two guards, one on the left side, one on the right. We're going to take out the guard on the right first. Just wait here for a second since he's facing us. Once he turns away, you can start going over these grates. Freeze. Hold him up. Don't kill me. Take his tag. And then we're going to loop back around to his friend on the opposite side. Go down this way. Make sure you're aerialing over these grates. Freeze. Hold him up and then take his tag. <laughs> And then we're going to make our way over here into the Strut B Transformer Room. Now, the other major difference here is for those of you who followed my guide for very easy, you'll remember that you were able to get the SOCOM suppressor pretty much for free. It was located right here, right behind us. As you can see, it's not there on easy. So I'll be showing you guys where to pick that up. I do advise most people pick that up as it's going to help us most especially with the Strut F warehouse area, which I know a lot of people hate. And as always, there's extra ammo for the SOCOM here that I like to pick up. You don't need to, but I would advise you pick it up before continuing on. Once you're here, there's not much to do on this bridge here. If you want, you can pick up these chaff grenades just to have some. It's always nice to have chaff grenades for when you need them. Otherwise, make your way into the Strut C dining hall. 
And just like on Very Easy and every other difficulty, we're just going to make our way up here to meet up with Peter Stillman, get our coolant spray, all that fun stuff. Once you have the coolant spray, we're going to go the same route as on Very Easy up here to the CD connecting bridge. And once you're on the CD connecting bridge, I like to assign my weapons here. So the coolant and then the M9. Once you get to this point, you're going to get a little cutscene. Just make sure you go under the camera. Now, the strut D sediment pool is where the route is going to change a little bit. We're not going to mess with these guys at all. We're not going to take their dog tags right now. Just run over behind this guy, drop down, make sure you grab the railing, and then you want to aerial over to him and hold him up, and then you want to tranquilize him. Don't worry about taking his dog tag because, as you can see, he's a tough guy. And if we were to shoot our SOCOM right now, the other guy would cause an alert, an alert phase, and it's just a mess. So it's better just to leave these guys for later once you have the SOCOM suppressor and all that. So just disarm or freeze this first bomb and then make your way over to the next area. Don't worry, we'll pick up these dog tags, I promise. Make sure you pick up that ammo if you want to, to top off your M9 ammo. Now the DE connecting bridge is going to have that same dog tag as on Very Easy. There's only one for the moment. Best way to get it is just to chill down here until you see the guard come down the first flight of stairs there. Once he's there, Freeze. you can hold him up and kind of <clears throat> nuzzle your way in front of him. So you get the angle to hold him up. Take his tag and then continue forward. Same thing with the strut E parcel room. There's only one guard we need to hold up and take the tag from. We're also going to get that cardboard box or once again the moving day trophy. Let him patrol a little bit, hold him up for an, from an angle, and then uh, take his tag here. Make sure you don't forget this box. And then we're going to go up to the strut E heliport. Don't fall down if you can avoid it. Once you're here, same thing as on very easy. You're going to have one bomb to freeze. It's going to be located under the Harrier here. Once it's disarmed or frozen, just make your way left. You're going to have one guard to hold up here. He's actually not a tough guy this time. Pick up his tag, and then you're going to make your way down here. Now there's another box here you can pick up. You might as well pick it up now. Since there's not really much going on. You can also pick it up during the Fat Man fight, but it's better to pick it up now when, again, there's nothing really going on. Then make your way over this way to the Sleeping Guard. Freeze. Hold him up and take his tag. And then we're going to make our way back into the Strut E Parcel Room. Once you're back here, just make your way to the EF connecting bridge down here. You watch out for claymores. And then make your way into the Strut F Warehouse. Now, the Strut F Warehouse is going to be a bit different from Very Easy. There's two extra guards here. And we're just going to tranquilize both of them. So just spray your coolant. Hold this guy up and then shoot him. Or just shoot him right off the bat like I did there. Then you want to tranquilize this guy across the way. Before making your way to our normal route. Which is over this railing. Drop down. And then freeze this bomb. The reason why we tranquilize those two guys up there is because they're both tough guys. And once again, if we shoot our SOCOM off, since it's unsilenced right now, it'll cause this guy down here to go into an alert status. Make sure you look around for him. And this guy is the only non-tough guy, so you can just tranquilize him before taking his tag. Take these stun grenades too. I like to have stun grenades on hand. And then here is where the 
box is that I missed in the first guide, so make sure you pick up box two. It's directly in front of this vent that you want to crawl through. Now, I highly advise most of you do this. The SOCOM suppressor is located through this little vent here. You're going to end up in a previously inaccessible part of the room. So once you re-emerge, the suppressor is going to be right in front of you. Now, be careful. They are calling for backup here. So if you want to be super safe, you can throw one of those chaff grenades that we picked up earlier just to make sure they don't call an alert status in on you. Make sure you equip your suppressor as well now that you have it. And once the chaff grenade goes off, you can wait till the footsteps are like stop, I guess, and then just make your way over here. I don't think the chaff grenade is really necessary, but if you want to be super safe not to cause an alert, FA connecting bridge is going to be the same exact strategy as on very easy. We're going to wait here so this guy turns around. Once he does, we're going to hold him up and then walk in front of him so the cypher doesn't catch us. Now this guy's going to be our first tough guy, but we have our suppressor. We're ready to go. And since I already did my pacifist run, I'm not going to worry about doing a non-lethal run. So as you can see, I killed that guy there. If you're still working on the pacifist run, just make sure you switch to your M9 and shoot him. Instead of just outright killing him, as I did there. Once you're here, make sure you aerial past this guy. There's no guard here yet, but there will be after we take on Fortune, so just remember that. For now, just focus on disarming this bomb here. Once you're done, you're just going to make your way back out to the strut A, the main area of the strut A pump room. And then if you didn't get the guy's tag at the beginning, you can get it now. So if you didn't get it like I did at the beginning, you can hold him up and take his tag now. Otherwise, just continue forward if you already got it. Back to the AB connecting bridge. And now there's no guards that we need to shake down in this area since we already got both of the tags at the beginning. All you want to do here is avoid the one guard that's patrolling. When you're going this direction, you want to make sure you go left to avoid the guard. And then when we come back out, you'll see we're going to go the opposite direction. Strut B transform room is going to have two guards now. We're going to get both of their dog tags right now. The first one is you go through the door and then you go straight across. That guy's going to see you. When he goes to investigate, just hold him up and then get his tag. And then the second guy, you want to walk just enough to where the door opens, but not enough to where you're kind of exposed here, where you can see you. Once you see him walk by, you can go outside and hold him up. He's a tough guy. So make sure you intimidate him. And then make your way back in here to disarm or freeze this next bomb here. Make sure you have your coolant equipped. And that's really all we have to do in the Strut B Transformer room. Now, I like to pick up the ammo in the locker before I continue forward, especially because I'm using the SOCOM primarily now instead of the M9. Once you get to the BC connecting bridge, there's going to be one cipher you have to take care of. You can shoot it three times as I did there. Or go into first-person view and take out the little camera part of it at the top, and that takes it out immediately. Either way, make your way into the Strut C dining hall. And the first thing we're going to do here is pick up the new sensor, sensor B, from where you met Peter. Through the store. It's going to be here. And then make your way back down the way we came to freeze the last bomb here. Located up here. Once you do that, we can leave the same way we came in. We get a code call here. And now we have a timer, but don't worry. It's plenty of time to do what we need to do. Just make your way down here. 
And since we took everybody out in the Strut B Transformer Room, there's no one that can cause an alert or anything here. So just make your way back to the AB Connecting Bridge. And once you're here, as I mentioned, when you're going this way, the way to avoid the guard is going up this time instead of down. We're making your way into the Strut A Pump Room. And then all we're going to do is aerial once and then go upstairs. Now the Strut A roof is going to have one more tag we need to get before we proceed to the last bomb here. He's going to be located here. Freeze. Let's hold him up. You don't really need to kill or tranquilize this guy. Just take the tag and then make your way to the lift. You can tranquilize him and kill him or kill him to be safe. But you don't really need to. Once you're here, you're just going to make your way down to where you began the plant chapter. And I believe the bomb is in the same location on easy as it is on very easy. Which is under this thing here. Once you've frozen that bomb over, you can go back over this way. And if you need ammo for your M9, there's ammo here. The same one we picked up at the beginning of the game. Otherwise, continue forward to the fortune fight. And again, as always, for the sake of the video, I am going to skip over the fortune fight, so I will talk to you all in a second. All right, now that we're back on the lift, we have a few things we need to do. The first being make sure to try and avoid getting hit by claymores in this next little section here. As we make our way back into the strut A pump room, be careful. And now we have to take out that guard that only spawns after we take out fortune, so I'm going to aerial down here and re-equip my stuff. Catch up to this guard here. Freeze. Hold him up. Grab his tag and then run over this way. What we're going to do here is actually take the time to get another one of our boxes that we need for the moving day trophy. So just climb under, or sorry, crawl under that pipe and climb over this. Grab the box. And crawl under the pipe again. And we're going to go back out the way we came. As we make our way back to the next bridge area here. Alright, if this guy sees you. Once you're here, there's not much to do. Just be careful aerialing here. I wouldn't recommend it. So this guy doesn't see you. And I do believe we have this guy's tag, but let me just check. Freeze. One second. Are you going to shoot me? <laughs> Actually, I don't think we have his tag. If he's a tough guy. Oh no, we did. Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure. I don't remember getting that guy's tag, but I guess we did. Make your way into the Strut F warehouse, where I know we didn't get these tags for sure, because these are tough. But now that we have the SOCOM, all you have to do is hold this guy up. Freeze. <gasps> and now Are shake him down. Intimidate him, but since we're silenced, it's not going to cause an alert. Once he drops his tag, just take him out or tranquilize him. And then you're going to wait around this corner here. Or at this corner here. For this guy to patrol. Once he reaches here, you can hold him up. He's another tough guy. Make sure you intimidate him. And then take him out or tranquilize him. And that is all the tags in the Strut F warehouse. That's the reason why we pick up the SOCOM suppressor. It just makes it a million times easier. You can technically do it without the suppressor, but... It's much, much harder. Now here, make sure you aerial. Pick up the claymore. And then go the normal route to make sure you don't hit any other claymores. Before making your way back into the strut E parcel room. You can throw on a box to camouflage yourself in here a little bit. Doesn't really matter on very easy or easy. But I would get used to doing that for the other difficulties. Throwing on a box in this room gives you a little bit more camouflage. Since you blend in with all the other boxes flying around. Either way, sneak your way up to the strut E heliport. Where we're going to have one more bomb to freeze over before the Fat Man fight. And the Fat Man fight shouldn't be much harder than it was 
on easy, especially if you're going lethal like me. You can take him out very quickly. Once you've gotten to this portion of the Fat Man fight, just equip your coolant and then none. Move his body a little bit. Pick up the dog tag and then disarm this last bomb here. Once you have control of Raiden again, I would throw on your BDU and your cardboard box. And also your handguns, both of them. We're making your way back into the Strut E parcel room. And our objective now is to go back to the Strut F warehouse and pick up the AK so we can blend in in the Shell 1 core. Make your way down here and back outside to the EF connecting bridge. And once you're here, just make sure to watch out for claymores, as always. Once you're in the Strut F warehouse, we're just going to go down these stairs here. And into this room. The AK is located in this corner here. Make sure you throw it on. I like to throw that and the M9 on. We're making our way back upstairs, back to the EF connecting bridge. But this time, instead of going to the Strut E parcel room, we're going to go to this left side over here. And as always, just watch out for Claymores. Just arrow your way across this bridge here. Now be careful, the floor does fall. Pick up this ammo. Now make sure you have your BDU and your AK equipped before you walk in this door. Now, as long as you don't do any aerials, fire your AK or any other loud weapon, or switch to any other weapon, you should blend in here. We're going to use that to our advantage. And wait till these guys pass us before we hold them up. Don't kill me. This room should be very easy since you have a sort of camouflage here. Just make sure you pop on your AK again. So you blend in. And hold this guy up. Tranquilize him, and now we have one more guard over this way. Hold him up once you get close. And take his tag. And once you have it, make your way back to the elevator. Now make sure you have your BDU and your AK equipped before you press the elevator button, or else you will cause an instant alert. Once you're in the elevator, make sure you go to the B2 level first. We're going to pick up the directional mic and also a few more dog tags. Once you're in here, though, you want to make it your way over to the right side here. Then down both sets of stairs before you hold this guy up. Then you're going to area your way all the way down here. You're going to hold this guy up. You can tranquilize him. His friend's going to see him. Once he's close, make sure you hold him up as well. And then you can run over this way and hold this guy up as well. I like to hold this guy up. Take his tag and then the next box is here. Then what we're going to do is switch to our SOCOM. And we're going to CQC this guy, move him a little bit. Just so you can get the better angle and to minimize the chance that the dog tag goes under the desk where you can't pick it up. Since I have had that happen to me before. And once you're here, you can wake this guy up by using the coolant. Just safer to take this guy out and only have to deal with two of the guards instead of all three. It's kind of crazy in here. And then what I would do is wait till he's back up and then grab him and move him as well. Just to give yourself a better angle. Hold him up. Take him out or tranquilize him. Take his tag. I would throw your AK back on and then switch to your SOCOM again. And we're going to get this last guy that we held up over here at the beginning. He's a tough guy, so make sure you shoot up in the air. And take him out. One thing I almost forgot is the directional mic, which is the whole point of doing this. So make sure you pick up the directional mic. I was testing you guys. I was making sure you guys were paying attention to the guide here. Make sure you pick up the D mic. And then you can make your way back to the elevator. And in all honesty, once you get back to the elevator 
and get to the B2 level. I would take the time to save because that section does get a little crazy. So go to B1. And then as soon as the elevator lands where it needs to, I would take the time to save here. And once you're done saving, this is the best way that I've found to do this. What you're going to do is make sure that you have your AK and either your M9 or your SOCOM equipped. You're going to walk over here with your AK equipped and just wait till this guy patrols from his own accord. Freeze. Hold him up, shake him down, and then either tranquilize or take him out. Get his dog tag, and then you want to hold this guy up. You're going to drag him over this way by unequipping your weapon. And set him to about here. And you want to make sure he's held up so he doesn't cause an alert. Please don't. Same thing here. Shake him down, get his tag. And then pick up the corpse behind you or the body behind you. And I would drag him a little over this way so he's around the corner here. Because we're going to knock on the wall or on the locker there, sorry. And that's going to cause the next guard that we have to hold up to walk over to us. Once you've done those things, make sure that you have your AK equipped. And then just make sure that he doesn't run into you or else it's going to knock off your disguise. Once he sees the bodies, you can hold him up. Unequip your weapon. And then we're going to drag him outside because we're going to take this guy's tag. We're not going to kill him or tranquilize him. We're going to use him for the retinal scanner. If he's wiggling his arms, make sure that you give him a little choke. So once again, hold him up, but do not kill this guy. So just walk through him, pick up his tag, put your gun down, unequip it. Once you've got his tag, and then drag him over to the retinal scanner. And that's going to give us access to the room where our friend Ames is located. Now Ames is going to be in a random spot. He's not going to be in the same spot on easy like he was in very easy. So just find him, and I'll talk to you guys in a second. Once you hit this little cutscene, just make sure you click R2 or the back trigger to equip your AK. Skip the rest of the cutscenes, and once you've made it to this area, all you want to do after this codec call, the way that I do this, make sure you have your M9 out if you're going for a pacifist run. Let this guy see you. Click the elevator button twice. Turn around and tranquilize him. And then make your way to the elevator up to floor one. With your M9 still out, you're going to aerial once to the right. Line up against this wall. Look forward and then tranquilize that guy before aerialing once, walking forward a little bit, and then tranquilizing this guy before he sees you. Now, if that guy sees you, it causes an immediate alert to make sure he doesn't see you. And then now you can equip your AK again if you want to. And then make your way across this bridge. Remember to aerial so you don't fall through. And once you've made it over here, just make sure you stick to the left side here so you don't hit any claymores before making your way back into the Shred F Warehouse. Now, before you go in, equip your M9 and your coolant. What you want to do here is aerial to the left, then down once. Spray at this corner here, your coolant. Then shoot this guy in the head with the tranquilizer or your lethal gun. It doesn't really matter. And tranquilize that next guy. And then you want to make your way to this room here that contains the PSG-1. Now, if you're going for a pacifist run, the PSG-1T, which is the tranquilizer, is in there. I'm not going to pick it up, though, since I'm not doing a pacifist run and then make your way back out to the EF connecting bridge and then from here we're just going to make our way up to the strut E parcel room while avoiding claymores make sure that you do have a, a box equipped it doesn't matter which one just for the extra camo that it provides be careful because there's going to be extra guards in here patrol guards make your way out here once you're at the DE connecting bridge we're going to have one dog tag to pick up and the guy's going to be located down here before we go pick up his dog tag though I would tranquilize the extra guard and this guy over here since we already have his tag actually we can do that later let's just hold this guy up first freeze huh? don't kill me Get his tag, and then like I said, we've already gotten this guy's tag, so we can tranquilize him. Make your way up these stairs here.
into the strut D sediment pool. Now we're not going to mess with these guys just yet. I know it's kind of weird because these are the some of the first two guys that you get their uh, you know their dog tags from on very easy, but we're going to leave these guys so pretty much the end of this whole section here. Just make your way all the way over here, here. to the CD connecting bridge. So here, make sure to avoid this camera. And then you're just going to aerial one time, two times. Hold this guy up. And get his tag. And then you're going to aerial to get away from him. Approach this guy from an angle. And then get his tag. Make sure it doesn't fall in the ocean. If it falls in the ocean, either one of these, which has happened to me before, just flip off the railing and... Restart the game, or, re or continue, I should say. Once you're in the strut, the, sorry, strut C dining hall, walk in here, Freeze. hold this first guy up. I don't think he's a tough guy. No, he's not. Get his dog tag and then make your way down this way. Now, be careful, this guy. Just, I would just aerial once and then wait for this guy to patrol forward. Now we can go catch up to him. And I do believe this guy's a tough guy, so I'm going to hold him up with my SOCOM. Oh, he's not. Either way, tranquilize him, take him out, get his tag, and make your way out to the BC connecting bridge. You're going to have a cypher to take out. And the guy that we need the tag from, you can shoot at the ground here to make him turn around and then aerial toward him. Before grabbing his tag. Grab that, and then now we can make our way all the way back to the strut D sediment pool. Now here you want to be careful. There's going to be a guard that patrols. You can either tranquilize him or take him out as I did there. And then make your way out here. From here, moving forward, there shouldn't be really anything in our way. There shouldn't really be too many obstacles in our way. We've tranquilized or eliminated most of these guards here. Once you get here, watch out for the camera. You can shoot it if you want, just to make sure that it doesn't catch you. And make your way back into the strut D sediment pool, where we can finally get these dog tags from these two guys here. You're going to do it the same way as on Very Easy. Aerial down the stairs, then across this little bridge section here. Hold this first guy up. Are you going to shoot me? He's a tough guy, but since we have the SOCOM silencer, he's not going to alert the other guy. Take him out or tranquilize him. And then we're going to make our way down here. I like to pick up this ammo. Flip over the railing, grab the railing under you, and then you're just going to chase after this guy. Once you've reached him, just hold him up. Intimidate him. Take him out. Grab the tag. If you need some M9 ammo, there's more here. And then we can finally make our way over to the next portion of the game here, right before the Harrier fight. Just found here. And since you probably know how to do this section, I'm going to skip all of this, including the Harrier fight. Once you finish the Harrier fight, you can save here if you want to. All your progress up until this point wouldn't be a bad idea. Either way, find a way over this gap here. I like to just jump across. You can also shimmy over that pipe. And equip the BDU. I don't really know if that's necessary for easy or not, but just muscle memory at this point. Flip over this railing, and then jump down. That guard's gonna spawn. You wanna jump over this, and over this railing. For the next couple portions, I may speed up the footage, just because there's a lot of gameplay here that doesn't involve collecting dog tags that most of you should be familiar with. It's not too different from the versions of this section on very easy. Once you've gotten to this point of the game, all you have to do is the same thing as you did on very easy. Go down to this lower portion here and then find the Nikita. Do you want to swim to your right? 
then to the left. And then Akita is here on easy. You can just double back. Super easy. For making your way back up the way we came to floor one. Now we have to use our Nikita. And I think the best angle for this is actually up the stairs here and use your Nikita and then go into this little vent here, go up a little higher. Now be careful for the president here. And then make your way over to him this way. Make your way out the door. And then we're going to start the Emma Escort section of the game. Once you're back down at the B1 level, we're just going to start the swimming portion here. The first half of it is going to be our normal route. You're going to make a right turn immediately. Swim all the way down the hall. Then make a left. Then another left. Watch out for that mine. Make a right. Another left. Another right. And you're going to open this door off to our right here. We're skipping this cutscene. And then swimming bottom left here, then up left, and down here toward the right. You can pick up these stinger missiles. Then up and open this door. Then make your way up this area here, up these stairs. And we're now going to head into the vamp one fight, the first vamp fight. All right, once you've taken vamp out, Make your way through this door, and we're going to start the next half of the little swimming section here. If you want to be really safe for the last portion of the game here, I always advise in all of my guides to pick up the body armor located here. On every single difficulty, it's going to be located here. So you can go ahead and pick that up. It's kind of weird to pick up sometimes. It, sometimes it doesn't want to be picked up. But once you have that, just make a right from this room and go into that first room here. And this is where Emma's going to be located. Jump off these stairs and then press the action button near this locker. And now we're going to swim with MR on our backs so we can leave this room. Then immediately make a right. Then a left turn and up the stairs. Grab onto her and then take her into the vamp boss room we were just in. Once you're here, just grab onto Emma again. And we're just going to leave this room now. Now we begin the next part of the swimming section. Just leave this area and go left, then up, down right, up right, down right, and then through this door and the next door to your left. Make sure you stay low so you don't hit that mine. Then go left here, and then right, left from here, watch that mine. 
And then from here, you can resurface with Emma if you want to. Just to make sure she doesn't drop below half health. We don't want her to drop below ba uh, half health because if she does, she is very slow. Even slower than she usually is during the escort portions. Either way, resurface here. And you are back at the room with the elevator. Now, Emma is scared of bugs, so she's not going to follow you all the way to the elevator. The best way to do this is to grab hold of her here. Take her to just about here where the computer is. Click on the elevator button twice. Then CQC choke holder with the square button. And drag her all the way in the elevator where you let her go. And then go up to floor one. Now, floor one is now going to be inhabited by some more enemies, some guards. So we are going to have some dog tags to collect here. I would leave Emma around here. And then go hold this guy up. Take him out. Make sure you have your M9 or your SOCOM, whatever you prefer. And then none. Because you cannot hold Emma's hand if you have a weapon out. Either way, make your way down here. Down these stairs. And I would be careful here because there should be an enemy around this corner. You can kind of peek by pressing up against the wall. Once he turns around, leave Emma there. Hold him up by yourself. Take him out and grab his tag and then go back for Emma. We want to take her up this way and up this staircase here. And we're going to have one more enemy in our way before we hit the KL connecting bridge again. I'll leave her here. You should see the enemy Please walk don't. in front of you. Please don't. Grab his tag and then make your way outside with Emma. And once you're here, the game is going to make you let go of Emma, so pick her back up. And then you want to do a little swoop here and pick up these chaff grenades. Now you want to equip those chaff grenades and send one out. Or equipping your weapon again. Chaff grenade's going to go off. You're just going to keep walking forward. Once you've got Emma at the top of these stairs here, if you can call them that, leave her there. You're going to hold this guy up. Take him out, and then immediately proceed to start taking out these ciphers. So they don't get in our way. And then unequip your weapon and equip your coolant and nothing. You're going to grab Emma. Bring her by the fire here. Extinguish the fire with your coolant. And then drag her through it. Drag her to like this little doorway here. Leave her there. And then you can proceed to the door by yourself. You're going to get this little cutscene before entering the Strut L Sewage Treatment Facility. Now this one might be a little tricky. Equip whatever weapon you want to use. I would hold this guy up. Unequip your weapon. Grab him. And then drag him pretty far back. I'd say about... Here is fine. Make sure he's held up. And then now you can uh, proceed to get his tag. This is just to avoid the other guy seeing us. It just throws everything off if he does see us. From here, you can shoot the wall behind him. It's going to make him turn around. Just make sure you get there in time to hold him up. And then hold him up. Take him out. Get his tag and then go back for Emma. You can run into her to make her get up faster. And then grab hold of her. Just so you don't have to wait through that entire animation of watching her get up. And then we're going to go through this door. And leave Emma here while you open the door. And we're going to start the Twilight Sniping section. Which I am going to skip, but I will talk to you guys after that's over. Once you finished off Vamp 2, good job. We're going to continue forward here. We only have two more dog tags to collect at this point. The first is going to be located right here in the 
Strut E parcel room. It's gonna be our friend with the headphones that you're gonna see in just a second. Let me equip my SOCOM. He's not going to be in the same spot as in Very Easy. He's actually found up here this time. So just loop this way. Hold him up. Take him out. Collect his tag. And then make your way out this way. Now be careful here. As you can hear, there are ciphers around. So get your AK out and get ready to shoot it. And shoot one here, and the last one in the middle here. And be very careful here for claymores. And then since we're playing on easy, the bridge is completely repaired. So you can just make your way into the shell one core. Once you're in here, it's emptied out, so don't worry about causing an alert. Just make your way up here and into the elevator, which is already open for us. Once you've made it into the ascending colon, all you want to do is answer all these calls as soon as you start getting them to make the game progress quicker. Once you've gotten to the point where Snake is in front of you, you can unequip your sword or any weapon you have out and start choking Snake out. Now make sure you don't do this too much, or you'll end up killing him. So just choke him out a couple times, and then let him go. So he passes out. And then once he's out, pick him up, and he'll drop our last, last little dog tag here that we need. You can check your dog tags, as always, by going into your inventory, and you should have 87 up until this point, if you've been following this guide. It came as a complete surprise. When From here, all you need to do is take out the Metal Gear Rays, which there shouldn't be too much more, or too many more, when compared to Very Easy. And then, obviously, the Solidus fight. Once you've gone through those two things, I will reconvene with you guys and check out how we did. Once you've gotten past the score screen and the rank screen, make sure you save your completed save file. Once you're back at the main menu, as always, you can check your progress. If you go to special, dog tag viewer, and then load up your save file that you just completed. Make your way to plant, and then easy. And there you have it. 100% completion for the dog tags on the plant chapter of Metal Gear Solid 2 on easy. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this guide helped you, and I'll see you guys in the next one.